Evening, welcome. Player imposter. Two plebs at the same time in the chat. Uh, hope you feel better soon, Slayer. I've been waiting for Toaster to to come online, and while waiting, I fall in the, I fall become sleepy. So now I might G fuel to stay awake. first as we can all see oh toasters in the chat hold on hello 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 <clears throat> looks like slayer dude was first mm, i saw that yeah freaking nabbed it from me yeah welcome uh Toaster, it's almost 10, I mean 11 p.m. No, it's close to 10 p.m. I'm not late. You have a weird time zone. Mm, I know. I'm behind you by like an hour. Then why is it different when I... Why is it the same time when I type in Sweden time zone? Or Sweden time, it says the same time as over here. I mean, it's a different time when it's convenient for me. Um. Well, it's your punishment from Slayer oh. that you uh, were late, so that's why he uh, got the first. Well, at least Nautilus is not getting it. Oh yeah, Nautilus is gonna be a whole nother story. So, well, uh, level one, right? No. You said chapter one. It was a joke. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Ye fuel burp. Yeah. Whoa, I didn't even invite you yet, and you're already here. <laughs> I was in from the beginning. That's what he said? <laughs> But yeah, I had, uh, just had some noodles because I had a little bit of, I kind of was in the mood for some food, so I just quickly made some noodles. Ah, oh, so you mixed uh, Yee Fuel and noodles? Oh, no, not Yee Fuel noodles this time. Ah. Oh. Why is there a fidget spinner next to my name? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, tomorrow big day, I hope. Mm -hmm. you know that Hitler is rallying his Nazi zombie horde You're gonna get your keys. Zone. Probably. Get to his location and find a way to stop him permanently. Or at least get to sign some documents. Mm. And, uh, yeah, colleague of my coach is gonna come over tomorrow as well, and, like, most likely she's gonna have the documents with her. So hopefully also the key, I'm not sure, but... But, uh, yeah. When that's all fixed, we can, uh, start to plan in, like... The other person who's gonna help me with moving. <laughs> Are you not loading in? Yeah, I'm just adding a key binding. I reinstalled Discord and forgot to add uh, a mute button. Oh.
He's gonna steal all the kills. But sadly, I'm still tired. My Digi Fuel hasn't worked yet. So what did you think of Trackmania? Uh, the game? Yeah, that was I've been streaming the last couple of days. Um, I don't know. Is it like a new release? No. Just the old one. The uh, or one of the older ones, yeah. I freaking hate all time in this game. Are you a pleb who has never played? Trackmania before. Oh, I had the OG one. On this? Uh, no, I don't think it's on Steam. Well, that's the one I was playing, the oldest one that's on Steam. Mm. But I don't have the Steam version, I have like the official website version from back then. Mm. So you have all the platinum medals in that game? Um, not really. No. All the bronze medals. I can say I, I don't remember like a big variance with the cars. Like I uh, only play with like a Formula Formula One car. Whatever okay. It is. So like stadium. Hmm. But that's then the free-to-play version. Hmm. But I mean, it's gonna be at least 15 years ago. Yeah, yeah, it's that old. So, like, Trackmania Nations Forever is the free-to-play version. With only mm. the... Stadium car. And then the premium version of the same game is United. And then you get, like, some other car classes and tracks. They are like t totally different. Oi, Stonky. Watch this. Do a barrel roll. Oh, slow mo. So we're going for a 150 combo again. Maybe. Nah. I'm not as pressured anymore now that I know that there's no achievements anymore. Mm. I did get an achievement of 10 headshots in a row. Apparently I didn't have that yet. I don't know how, but... Mm, nice. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Do you think we're gonna finish this game tonight? Yeah, we might. Noish. Or it's gonna be like the first episode. Like the first mission that we just walked around the uh, square and killed survivors for like two hours. Oh my god, it's Natulus! Who is not first? Oh. What you doing here so early? Normally you pop up at like 4 a.m. or something. And now all of a sudden you're here at 11 p.m. So, uh, how big is your drink horn, Toaster? You never told me. My drink what? Your drink horn. Drink horn? Yeah. I ain't got that. But you're, you live in Sweden. Everyone in Scandinavia has a drink horn. No, sorry about me. So then you've lied, you're, you don't really live, live in Sweden. Even I have a drink horn. I, ha I, 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 I had it stashed in my room for a lot of years and hadn't used it, but I found it again. I have my drink horn here. Oh, nice. I do need to uh, 
Well, I've washed it a little bit, but not like I, I, I'm not gonna risk drinking out of it yet. I want to like properly wash it more with like a thing I need to buy so I can like stick it in and properly like rub mm. it inside, if you know what I mean. Like, I don't know how it's called, but you know. But I remember like 10 years ago or something, I uh. I would uh, definitely take it to parties and drink a lot of beer out of it. And I also had it at a festival, which was nice. I'm not sure if I still have the holder though. I'll I'll, I'll probably get like a new one ordered. Because if I I think if I found the old one, I may have thrown it away because it was like all bent and stuff and like not good anymore. But. So you don't have a holder, so if you fill it up to the brim with, like, beer, you have to finish it? Yeah, so that's why I'm not gonna use it yet until I have, like, the holder. But it was like a belt holder, like... Oh, Jesus! It was like... Uh, a holder that you put on your belt and then you can hang it on that. So it's only useful when you're kind of standing, when you're sitting you can't really use it that well. At least when it's filled, right? But you can also have a holder to put it down. I'll probably have to get that as well. But it's, I have a fairly large horn, so... It's a bit hard to put down. Ah, combo lost. I'm a pleb. Slayer is the only crazy motherfucker that drinks from a skull. I don't know. Maybe. You're early because you went to watch the movies with your parents and went to Steakhouse. Nice. What did you get at the Steakhouse? I'm so happy that you, ha you have such a good time with your parents. It sounds very fun. All their accounts. I could redeem a free commander in 14 days of premium. I mean, if you care about, if you care about the other account, why not? But I personally never saw the appeal of creating a second account. <laughs> Especially now that you can buy garage slots for credits, which is very nice, actually. Yeah, they. Is it expensive? Uh, I don't know anymore. Like, 100k maybe? Like, until a Xeno? Oh, 250k, okay. Yeah, it's... It's a decent, decent amount. 250k and, yeah, I mean, it's... For newer players, it's a lot, I'd say. Mm. Um, but, I like, for me, I... Oh, hey, gold. For me, I'd say, like, it's still a chunky price, but I don't think it's, like... Like, if you're slowly building up your tank collection, I think it's a fair enough price. Mm. Yeah. Like, compared to the 300 gold. I mean, again, 300 gold, I think, is not a lot. But, yeah, if you really want to be just a free-to-play player or just try to not spend much, then, yeah, it's a good alternative. Like, I think, in terms of, like, free-to-play capability, I think World of Tanks is definitely very accessible. In terms of, you can get a free premium tank if you play long enough. Because there's the bond shop, so if you earn bonds, then you can buy like a premium tank. There's events that you can earn premium tanks with. And even very recently, there was an event and it was like the easiest tier 8 premium you could ever get. It was not an amazing tank, but fun enough and like, you know, like, you know. It's something. It was very easy, definitely, to get. So, uh, yeah. I mean, isn't uh, tier 6, 8, like, the best, uh, like, tier for making money for a premium tank? Tier 8 and 9. Hmm. Um. But even still... You can also still earn pl credits with tier 5, 6, and 7, I'd say. Or even lower tiers. Like, for early game, 
you can even, you know, earn a decent chunk of credits uh, with like tier 2, 3, 4 as well, premiums. Like only if you're really gonna like start grinding credits for like buying tier 8, 9 and 10 tanks. Yeah, that's where you might want to invest in like a tier 8 or 9 premium. But like, you know, early game is like, you know, fine. And uh, yeah, in December, new Christmas event is coming with loot boxes. Nice. But World of Tanks have improved how they do their loot boxes. Where it's like if you open 49 boxes in a row and there's no tier 8 or 9 premium in it, then the 50th one you get a guaranteed premium on tier 8 or 9. Mm. So that's fair because like at least you can say like okay well if i buy 50 boxes then i guarantee myself a premium right tier 8 or 9 premium i think it's definitely a good thing they did it they really have to add uh that and other than that usually they put in like a lot of garbage tanks as filler, you know, because it's like, you know, obviously every tier 8 and 9 tank is equal chance to get. So if there's 10 different tanks and you want one of those 10, well, good luck. Unless you have all the others, because you will only keep, you will only get tanks that you don't have yet, which is also good. And only if you have all of them, you start getting duplicates. And if you get a duplicate, like, you will get the gold value and compensate it. Um, so that's all good, and yeah, usually they put in some decent, a decent amount of filler tanks. And now, there's only five high tier premiums, and four of them are new. Only one of them is old, and it's like a decently new one that I quite enjoyed, but a lot of people seem to dislike. It's a wheeled British medium. Natulus, what do you think of the EBR skin? Oh, fuck. Being sniped from behind. Epic, I know, right? I love the EBR skin. Too bad you hate playing EBRs. I mean, I'm fine with it from time. I'm, I hate mostly scouting with it, but I do like playing a support tank with it. But yeah, it's the only skin I really want, the EBR one. The others I don't care that much about. Although I would like last year's s -Conk skin. But like, you know, the others I don't care that much. Like the E75 skin is cool, I guess. But I already have an E75 skin. Um, the Cobra skin I don't care that much about. Because I don't play that much of the Cobra. And it doesn't even look that... Like, it looks cool, but like, I don't know. The Phase 1 skin also doesn't really grab me as much as I thought. Like, I feel like it's missing something. It looks too empty. Like, it almost looks like it's a 2D skin. I don't know. <laughs> and I even forgot whether... Oh, yeah, the artillery skin, of course. But no one cares about artillery skin. I care about it. It's my favorite tank class. Oh, yeah, like, I only want the EBR Hot Rod skin. Just because it's a nice meme. Oh god! Oh god! Oi 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 oi! As they say in Sweden. Oi, oi, oi. Or at least that's what. Bark told me. Mm. He says it. So just because he said it, I now assume everyone in Sweden says it. Uh oh. Ooh. 
Full our golden bar. Fuck. Gonna have Doom Eternal music. I had some very nice luck in Caliber today. Mm -hmm. Yep, just uh, low level plebs that are new to the game. Oh. Mm -hmm. We did a pretty easy mission that usually never fails, but we failed because we ran out of time. Because, like, our two teammates were new players and. Uh, uh, they were just very slow and constantly behind uh but yeah, that's, you know, like I, I you know of course I understand when a player is new they're still learning of course so I don't you know, I think that's fine but it kind of sucks when you do get like multiple new players in your team This gun is the best gun ever. Type 99. The Webly. Oh, and the Weebly. Weebly. I mean, you're Swedish, so you're a weeb as well, right? Because. Caramel Dunson. Mm -hmm. your, is your national anthem, right? Powering up my uh, Weebly with Weaboo powers. Like, Sweden out weebing Japan. Mm. Speaking of weep things, I haven't caught up to Dragon Ball GT in a couple days again. Mm. Oh, train. Choo choo train! This is a G fuel point. Oh, the train is actually going? No, it looks like it. Wait, do we get to shoot on a train? Because then I can do the train command if we actually get to fight on it. Also, I don't have any more shotgun ammo. Oh, wait, I do a little bit. I mean, you can. Or is it the preacher? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a bit boring that you can't refill it. Yeah, it's like a great gun. And I don't think it's overpowered because you do have to reload after two shots. But it's like, yeah, you barely get any ammo for it. Oh, is Slayer Dude in chat? If you want, you can do the train command! Exclamation mark train. Oh, yeah! There we go. Thank you, Slayer. It's another train level. I I, I keep track of them. <laughs> train levels Check are good. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was not. That was pun unintended. <laughs> I keep track of them. <laughs> it was unintended. Oh, nice, Slayer. What's this thing? What thing? Looks, looks weird, this... Cuds... Blanket thing... Oh, hey. Going Isn't there. it the parachute? Oh, maybe. Wait, okay. do we go up or down? Um... Or both? Um, okay, go you, you go down, you're gonna be the meat shield. I'm just gonna snipe them from here where it's safe. What's your favorite gunslayer in this game? Like, sniper? No, wait. Your favorite main gun? Your favorite sniper? Your favorite secondary? And your favorite pistol? I wanna know Slayer Dude's optimal setup. You don't remember the guns? Oh my god, I thought you were the gun expert. 
not a uh, true zombie army gamer. Yeah, I thought I thought Slayer was like the sniper elite expert, but I guess only sniper elite and not Nazi zombie army. Oh, big explosion! You barely play these? Oh, they're pretty fun. I recommend. Oh, I'll try and get the suicider. Oh, explosion. It's time to slow mo. Oh, I thought you were saying it's time to duel. Oh. Ah, how could I not have seen that bottle? Mm. Clever. I should have walked up really close to trigger the slow mo for like a meter. <laughs> Maybe shot it with the Webley. Mm. Or with shotgun. Pretty it's a very quiet lights. train. Yeah, it's a Tesla train. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Whoa, these zombies are floating. But yeah, I'm not gonna buy loot boxes in World of Tanks just yet. I need to wait for like the move and everything. After that oh. I'll consider, but... I do kinda wanna buy a good amount. Nice. Tiger mouse. Quite. The tiger mouse looks like it is pretty fast for uh, super heavy. Like with the field mod and turbo, you can go, go to almost 40, I believe. Hello, Universal. Welcome. Uh, Tiger Mouse, is that like an off brand from the original mouse? Yeah, it's probably like a blueprint made up designed by Wargaming, but it looks mm. cool. It's not most like uh, War Thunder. It's not a real tank, deletes it. Yeah, there's still people really, really crying about World of Tanks when it is not adding historical things. Even though I mean, the game was never really historical to begin with. I mean, I think that's the fun part about World of Tanks, that you can play like interesting blueprint tanks. Yeah, exactly. Or even like tanks that are purely made on the basis of a description in words. Gold. Because yeah, they've made blueprint tanks, which, you know, obviously you got some visualization. But, you know, a different is like literally a description. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, it's a tank with this and that. Okay, and then board, board gaming is just okay, so we're just gonna design it ourselves. Mm. And then they've got skins that are very unrealistic as well. Like, now the... <laughs> I'll, I'll show you the newest skin that they've made for the EBR. It's amazing. I want it. Hold on. Um... I'll send it to you on Discord. You can play it to see a 360. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It looks like, like something straight out of uh, Crossout. And, you know, like people are instantly crying, like, oh, it's not realistic. And, all right, fine. But you I do have. I'm allergic to fun. The game has an option to turn off all non-historical elements. But then there's one dude on the forum who's like, 
Skins are for 10 year old Fortnite kids. So I just reacted with the big Lebowski scene of like, well, you know, that's like your opinion, man. And then he's trying to argue like, no, it, it's not historical. It's not an opinion. It's fact. It's like this guy doesn't know what, what opinion and fact means, but okay. And then he argues about, like, World of Tanks being historical. And then I just react with, like, yeah, very historical. Uh, when you have one team with three mouses uh, teamed up with an uh, T-30 and a Fosh 155. Uh, in the uh, Versus the other team with an E-100 and IS-7. And, uh, you know, it's like... That doesn't make sense either and is in unhistorical like that you have tanks of different nations in the same team against other tanks of the same nation <laughs> and the E100 is also only a blueprint tank so that's you know and sure I'm f I understand you know I understand that uh, you know it's fair that that they might w not want to have the fake skins so, you know, that's why there's an option to turn it off. So I'm like, okay, well then just turn it off. But they're trying to... You know... They, they're so condescending, basically, to people who do like silly skins. And I think that's just stupid and childish. Because sometimes, yeah, sometimes I have a tank. And I either go with customizing it in two different ways. Either I customize it in a semi-realistic way with the historical camo. Or I just go fucking YOLO with a silly skin. And I make it like pink or something. Because I think both are fun, right? Some skins are also very cool with like lots of details and... And little uh, 3D objects on it. I want to crash this train. But I, I keep telling on the forums. If they would sell a Hello Kitty skin, I would instantly buy it. Just because it's a nice meme. Nautilus would also buy a Hello Kitty skin, hell yeah. And I'm not even being like sarcastic or anything, I mean it genuinely, like, I would buy a Hello Kitty skin. I mean, if it's 3D, that would be cool, but then you can only use it on one tank, so I'd like a 2D skin. 2D skin, then you can put it on any tank. And uh, I also love that Wargaming did sell the Panzer IV Anku from Girls und Panzer. And you get like the full anime uh, girl crew with uh, anime voiceovers as well. And I think that's funny as fuck as well. Because when you kill, you know, it's just funny to have the feeling of like. Whenever you kill someone, you just know that the enemy might be upset, like, Oh, I'm just getting killed by some anime schoolgirls. <laughs> yeah, you know, like... I think it's fine, I think it's fair to at least have an option in the game to disable those kind of skins. For people who do not want to, like... You know, see that, I guess. But that's why World of Tanks has that option. It's good that it has it. Yeah, options are pretty much always good, right? Oh, someone got stuck in here. They call me the Preacher! And I'm out of ammo.
But I believe like Call of Duty is also getting like sillier skins nowadays. And some people are also really not liking that. Though the latest controversy is with the Groot skin, and I do see that why it's a problem, because it blends in with green foliage. Oh yeah. So you can kind of like be hidden and that's kind of pay to win. But of course in World of Tanks it doesn't work the same way because if tanks are spotted they are clearly highlighted. Mm. So you know, like thankfully that problem is not in World of Tanks. And skins never change like the hitbox of the tank, thankfully. They only add camouflage value, which you also get by just supplying a camo paint, so... It's all fair, at least. And even- they made them even, like, less pay-to-win lately, because, like... Skins could technically still... Skins could technically visually still block weak spots, right? Where there's maybe a 3D object blocking a weak spot somewhere. But they added an option that if you aim at a tank, that the outlines ignore, like, the skin objects, kind of. So you can easier, you know, see the weak spots again when aiming down on a tank with a skin. So that's good. That's also a very good thing they added. So yeah, as, as, as much shit as I have to say about World of Tanks, like... You know, some greedy things done by Wargaming and some pay-to-win things. They also do a lot of good things. Like, yeah, they're not perfect, but I don't think they're the worst company either. Like, I, I think they're, like, probably better than, like, Activision Blizzard <laughs> and EA still. Oh, I don't, don't know. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, there's Huns. Oh, there's two. Oh, there's three oh, Huns. Three. There's three of them. I'll go place down some landmines. Oh, crap. This dude is wearing armor. Right, I'll play that place down some trip mines as well over here All right trip mines placed uh. Oh, that's one down It's two down very nice Three? Question mark. <laughs> Can't see. With <laughs> But yeah, like, I also really love the commanders that they do as special uh, collabs. Mm. Even though I don't use that many of them because I already have like most of my crews set up before like unique commanders were a thing in the game. So a lot of them, uh... <laughs> trip mines, or they lace with mushrooms for a good trip. <laughs> nah, they're, they're trip mines because they're on a train. We're making a trip with them. <laughs> um, but like, there's Warhammer 40k commanders. I don't know if they have unique voiceovers, but we've had Chuck Norris. We've had Arnold Schwarzenegger, which I do have on the commander. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, <clears throat> on the tank. And now we have Vinnie Jones, which is like a football player and actor. And I don't know who Vinnie Jones is because I don't really watch football and stuff. But... I, I heard his voice lines, and I love his accent. Because what kind of accent does he have, Natulis? Because you're the expert, because I, I, I forgot. 
I didn't look it up like officially what the accent is and I might get it wrong. Oh, he's got a great accent that I love. Okay, now I'm gonna have to look up. Yeah, well, it is a British, but I don't know if it's like a specific area. Uh... Like, I don't know if it's, like, a just British or, like, from a specific, like, area, so I don't want to, uh... Okay, so it is just a strong British accent. I don't think it's from a specific area in the UK. Uh... Oh yeah, either way, he's got a very nice strong accent, and the way he like talks is like very kind of stereotypical. <laughs> so, <laughs> he just has funny lines, so even though I don't know who he is really, I think it's fucking hilarious, so I would still be entertained by his voice line. So yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's a positive for me then. Oh crap, I fucked up my combo by shooting the glass. Aww, I, th I was trying it. to break it. Uh, it's not the first time I ruined something. You gotta pull the lever, crunk. No, I don't wanna fuck it up. I think we should just wait until we arrive at the destination. Wait. We gotta shoot him in the balls! In his ball. No, aim on the dick. Aim on the dick! Aim on the dick! That's dick. Not the weak spot. That's not the dick! Oh. Oh, that's a disappointment. Oh, ye fuel turtles. <laughs> He's disappointed. He's sad. You'd imagine with all the zombies under his control, he doesn't need to like hold speeches, but I guess it's just a hobby of his. <laughs> allergic to geofuel. That level, was it me or was it shorter than the first level of the episode? I mean, uh, how do I have the high? You had the highest combo. How do I have the highest score? Normally you get it. The combo. I didn't go for combo. Wombo combo. Hitler's Wombo combo. Stems from an ancient vault, sealed by a key kept in his mountain fortress. Ooh. A forest map. <laughs> Time to take the Groot skin. I can't Groot. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, I like the different commanders with the voices. It's like, it doesn't affect gameplay. It's just like, okay, you hear a different voice, and that's fun. Hmm. And still a lot of them I haven't use like there's also a t-800 from terminator with like a robotic voice and john connor and sarah connor and like i said warhammer 40,000 commanders and although i don't still don't know if those come with a voice line i do hope do you know that natulus if there's like warhammer 40k commanders with voice lines or are they without because i did have some kind of orc but i don't know if he, if he has voice line i would love to have that No, sadly not. Ah, oh, that's a disappointment. Because then, you know, then it's fun to have visual commander, but I do like them a lot more when they have voice lines. That's a lot more fun. Ooh, a 2D JPEG castle. You can't see, it's so blurry. 
maybe the ultramarine. Ooh. Yeah, there's a lot I haven't tried it. Because, again, I haven't... I, I just, like, didn't have any tanks to put the skins on, right? Because it was just, like, all my tier 10s were basic. Like, I already started all tech trees. So, um... Yeah, I mean, basically, if I... Start getting a new crew for like some other tech tree tanks that I like, then I'll do that, of course. What's happening here? It's a blocked on your side. I just hear weird things. Yeah, you have to walk around. I'm just looking if there's like a wine oh, bottle on the boat. They are mine. It's my bottles. Hmm. But yeah, I'm definitely uh, like when I get to some tech tree tanks again that I'll have to get some. But, th but then again, like I'm also waiting, like World of Wargaming are planning to add like a feature that you can train a crew for up to three tanks at the same time hmm. so then it's gonna be I, I i do it like this right the tier 10 9 and 8 that they would be trained for and then like a next set of crew for the tier 7 6 and 5 and so on so it's gonna be annoying if i have separate crews for like certain tier, tier 9 vehicles and then like i have to retrain everything again and uh, uh, it's a bit annoying but hmm Oh my god, he's got a stick in the ash. Oh. It's a sticky situation. <laughs> stick, stick, Becky, I want stick. Yeah, so far it seems like the third episode they had a lot more fun making the maps. Yeah. Oh, nice hands. Look, it's, they're waving. Maybe I can, like... Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. He's touching me. Tickling me. Oh, a safe house. Oh, looks very safe to me. Oh, a pee pee. Oh, pee 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 pee. Too bad machine guns suck in this game, kind of. Mm. Stish. Oh, mine. Wait, have you put these down? Uh, no. Oh. They were here from the beginning. Well, I guess they failed because they're still here, so. There's a lot of blood in these uh, legs. Ooh, I showered. Bodies. Nice. Oh yeah, you said like we didn't complete, uh, I mean we do completed the last level a lot quicker because we weren't fucking around as much. But the like the first mm. level was like very big and open, with lots oh, of yeah. areas to explore, whereas the last one was a bit more linear. Mm. Oh, this is funny, <laughs> with these hands holding the skull. <laughs> oh. Interesting. So even the trees are zombified. Save who? I don't know. <gasps> Tractor! And there's a head in the... Look at this head in the basket. <laughs> nice.
Oh. oh, I see him. He's stuck in the wooden thing that they're about to burn. Is it like that uh, Nicolas Cage movie? Maybe. Not the bees. Can I save him? Remember. Hmm. Okay, can't take him out yet. Oh, they're coming. Is there a quake symbol next to your name? Is it? It's probably a cross there, but it looks like the quake symbol. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just got slow mobile at time in the air. Nice. Oh, slow mo. Oh, and two. I got a double headshot. Damn. End of the combo there. I mean, not many people deserve to burn. It's a sniper in the trees. Lab camper. Oh no! Who threw the frickin' biter? Ah, crazy! Oh, 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 oh. Zombies! Ow! Oh no, just another one. There's another summoner. Got him. Well, it sucks for Steve that he got burned. But I have an idea. We're gonna go to the store and buy some burn heal for him. happening in here they're having fun oh, 
The fuck? The voice of... Did you get turned into flesh? How does that work? I'm so confused. No. Nah. We don't have proof that you did it. Maybe someone else did it. Not by crazy man. Hold on. I put TNT down in front of him. Oh. And a one, and a two, and a... This guy's ready to receive. Mm. Get in here. No, I want to get up here. I'm gonna get in the tree and snoop. Snoop, snoop. Uh, now that's a zombie Nazi tree if I've ever seen one. God, this one has a gun. That zombie has a gun. <laughs> what the fuck, Natulas? any bottles nope they're way too hidden Natulus has stolen all of them Out of all the things you'd put in your fucking tree, you'd get a Nazi zombie tree to scare the neighbors. <laughs> Creepy doll. Another creepy doll. Oh shit, who's this? 
Who's this smiling fella? Can't. Have you seen have you seen this guy before? Oh, his weak spot in is not in the picture. <laughs> yeah, it is right there, right? It's the very oh, yeah, you got it. Very hard target to hit, though. Yeah, it's such, such a small target. Yeah, exactly. I stole your joke from last time. Oh, oh here's the same picture. Nice. What do you mean, the geek? Ooh. Friend. Friend? Yeah, up by the trees. He's hanging around. Oh. Just watch out that. Um. Uh, Mm -hmm. Never mind, I, I was gonna make a joke, but uh, it was actually stupid. Never mind the joke. Like I was trying to make like a plants vs zombies joke. Oh. Not getting minus points for it. Oh, slow mo. Yeah. Shot him in the balls three times. Because they're not suffering enough, I have to shoot them in the balls. On <laughs> accident, of course. Kind of just shooting like Robocop. Oh, gold. Oh, no. Alright, Slayer. You sleep well. Thank you for coming over. Hope you have a good night. Ow. I will try if I get aim on the dick. But again, like Toaster said, it's very hard target to hit. Scary. Scary? Yeah, on uh, uh, the top side of the hangar building, like to the left. Oh, it's like a little thingy. Yes. What is that? A doll with a shovel. Why would a doll be digging a hole on the roof of a building? That makes no sense. Yeah, it does not make sense. I'm just trying to find wine bottles. Yeah, we can only find dolls. Can only mean one thing. The dolls drank all the wine bottles. I 
see nothing. Hmm, well, they're well hidden. They are well hidden. Don't do it. I'm not gonna get cruised. He loves the car. He's trying to hug it. Oh, hey, I see a man in the bunker. Oh. <laughs> Look, Toaster, I see a man here. Kinda looks like Stalin. Oh. Can you have a saw? Wait, is this Resident Evil 4? Oh, house got upgraded. Oh. Well, he cannot shoot us at least, right? No. Oh, his helmet is off. He's walking a bit faster though. Uh oh. Oh, he's spinning. Doing a dance. Uh-huh. Dead. No. Did you lose your combo? Yeah, it wasn't a high one anyway, so... go up there. Gold. Gold. SVT40. Oh, we can go and we stall him. Even as a PP. It does kind of look like him. Mm. I don't know if it's on purpose or not. Thick fog. I don't know. Just jump good. I hear a lot of fleshy things. Shoot the thing above me. Oh. Do it. Oh. Ah. Uh. Uh, I can't. Wait, yeah. what? I can't, I can't resurrect you. Yeah. Are you moving, or is it just <laughs> happening on its own? I think it's in the uh, oh, the wooden okay. beams. Wait, maybe, maybe I can. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. It literally doesn't let me. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh god. I'm bleeding out. <laughs> it literally does <laughs> Oh no. It 
Yeah, Toaster, why do you always make it difficult? <laughs> I'm just enhancing the difficulty. So when do you respawn again? Um, next checkpoint? Like next, next checkpoint or safe house. Uh, it's getting dark. Oh, you've turned into a worm. A wiggy worm. Oh, stop moving. Compact. Well, uh, so far f for co op. You told me to shoot the thing. Oh, there's bodies hanging on the thing. Oh, you fuck. Camping shit. Two of them. Ah! No. No, oh, no campers. Oh, I'm being camped. What? What do you mean? Okay, the campers are dead. I wasn't even that close. You got deep. How far back is this gonna be? War gaming is more desperate to keep play people playing on NA than on EU. Wait, why is that? Fremen? What's that Fremen? Who to do this? How much gold? I have no idea. Only 5k. So like 20 euros. Eleven thousand players at peak hours. Oof. Yeah, I mean, you know. Interest in World War Two is generally a lot less in North America. Even though they did participate in the war, but you know, most of the war happened in Europe, so And it was only later of course that the US uh Joined in on the war. It's a big school. Hans is coming again. Oh, slow mo.
I wonder if World of Warplane still runs like ass. What the fuck? <laughs> Go away. What? Uh oh. Okay, well, I guess I have a friend. Where did he come from? I was like, huh? Where's Hans? Run, Toaster, run! Run! <laughs> He's doing a TikTok dance. Natulus is saying. Nice. Which of the popular TikTok songs uh, does he have in his video? Uh, Why can't I shoot them? <laughs> Uh, it's broken. Are you doing the worm? Ah, oh, TikTok. This is good. Good up. Where's that, that th third drag? Okay. On this question, mm. if Germany would have won World War II and the Third Reich would have, you know, ruled the world, would they have made their own TikTok? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> the Arishan TikTok, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is uh, even incarnate. <laughs> the ultimate indoctrination tool. <laughs> oh, it sticks so far up the ass. Place down some land mines. Oh, what's in here? Oh, <laughs> look at the gold bar here. <laughs> gold like, man. here, have a gold bar. <laughs> Just shoved in there. Snoopers. Snoop snoop. One down. Don't know if you killed ah. the other one or not, but... Stand back. Just 
imagine Hitler making TikToks of himself. <laughs> no. Okay, uh, today is a uh, good, uh, good tag, guten tag. We are making a TikTok, yeah. Ooh. I forgot again, like, mm. if one person picks up the gold, both people get it, right? Yes. Alright, good. <sighs> Just like the bottles that we can't find because they're pretty well hidden, and I think that's good mm. because it makes it that much more satisfying when you find them. Unlike Ubisoft games where there's a million collectibles everywhere. Ultramarine Commander, no voice lines off. Oh yeah, did you hear, hear about the uh, advertising thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. I mean, I can't say it, it probably wasn't a fuck up. They probably would tried if they could get away with it. Yeah. The watch they, is in the Because they like it. money. Oh, Natulus, what happened in the new Assassin's Creed Mirage? During gameplay, when the player paused the game, they got a pop-up that there's a Black Friday sale on another Assassin's Creed game. It was like full in the screen, big pop-up. And then when Ubisoft got called out for it, Ubisoft was like, No, it was a mistake! It was an accident! <laughs> totally not testing the waters or anything, nah. You accidentally just programmed that in the fucking game. <laughs> How stupid do they think people are? Like, holy shit. Fucking companies, man. Because, yeah, you accidentally program a whole advertisement. But, okay, to be fair, they did say it was meant to be in the news section in the main menu. But it's still, like, it's kind of a big fuck up to, like, put that line of code. Not in the news section, but like in the fucking start screen during gameplay. That's the, the whole different area of coding. Uh, it's like the uh, patterns for a specific TV brand, or don't remember which. That if it displays like uh, a commercial from McDonald's or something, that the viewer has to stand up and shout McDonald's. Oh yeah. It was a really, really weird pattern. I mean, I do think like phones at times do like listen in on like oh yeah like, if i just terms of service is like we listen all if i time. just keep saying diapers 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 now in a few days i'll be getting ads for diapers just wait is this so that you can stream for longer hours without taking a break <laughs> yes need uh Grown man diapers. Uh. Diaper cam. I mean, you gotta have to choose one. Either bulge cam or diaper cam. Can't have both. So is the uh, cam built into the diaper? Or that it's viewing from outside? Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> I'm watching outside. Basically seeing what my uh, crotch is seeing. Oh, no. I mean, either that or just seeing my bulge, but... I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm more of a... I'm, never mind, I was gonna say and something, but I think that would be too much information. I mean, it has to be like in widescreen to even fit it. Like, a bulge is only present for, like, people who... Uh, Whose size is always big instead of. Oh, no! Oh, no! Uh, it's you know what day it is? Tuesday! No! It's, it's Tuesday. Tuesday! It's Toaster Tuesday! <laughs> oh, 
uh, yeah, like people either have like, I don't know how how they say it in English, but in in Dutch you say either a meat dick or a blood dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Meaning, if you have a meat dick, it's always big, and if you have a blood dick, it's only big when you have a hard on. <laughs> yeah, grower or a shower is in English. So yeah. Then I guess we have to play, uh... Oh fuck, we're gonna have to redo the whole level! <laughs> no! No! Uh, I guess we're gonna play, uh... Wormies... Or, uh... Or the Slither.io, at least. Unless you have a better idea. Wormies? Slither.io, I mean... The fuck, why is... Oprah, why are what? you making this noise? What the fuck? What? Oprah suddenly makes noise. You'd open like previous Weeaboo pages. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Let's leave their eye open. Here we go. Oh fuck, why is it so fucking so cheesy? Oh. This is what we're gonna play well <laughs> on Toaster Tuesdays when uh, the server is, is, uh, is down. Okay, uh, number one is Sniper Viper. Holy fuck, there's a lot of lag here. Uh, for me, number one is Q -Q -Q -Q. Oh, well, we're not on the same server then. Why is the server so laggy? My, my fucking worm is barely reacting. Oh! <laughs> Schwacked! Oh, did you see that schwack? The fucking greed? Ah, oh, fuck. Mm. Fucking laggy ass server, man. Normally it's not this laggy. Yeah, you gotta upgrade your computer. It's too weak. I'm just gonna suicide because this is like unplayable. Maybe it's because of. Maybe it's because I'm using window capture? Hold on. I mean, it's almost laggy for me as well. Oh, maybe it's because everyone on Steam is playing this game now. <laughs> oh, I got Yeah, it's fucking laggy. Okay, so it's unplayable. Oh, it's fucking great. Meanwhile, EA is like, hey, you can play Battlefront 2. That game won't install on my PC. Yeah, I saw it. Did, did you try it? Uh, not yet. Oh. I don't even have uh, Epic installed. Yeah, because it's like, the reason why it doesn't work, like... It believes it's tied to another account. Yeah, it's, it's weird, because I never, like, I have always connected my Epic to my EA account. I don't have another account, so... Unless someone hacked my epic account and linked it to a different EA account but I don't think that would have been the case because that means I would have had to unlink it first so I don't mm. no we can't play that either because I mean I, we can only Steam. we can only play single player games now or non steam games yes. during the steam bullshit so usually I'd go to slither.io well, so it's uh, strong arming us to play Dead Space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Steam itself has like Tuesday maintenance bullshit. Toaster always asks me to play co op on Tuesdays. Yes, yeah, because it's funny. Okay, I. <laughs> 
Now the Slither.io website doesn't even load. <laughs> I think everyone's literally jumped onto it. Because of Steam downtime. Holy fuck. Okay. I could play Trackmania. That's not... Like, I have the non-Steam version of Trackmania. Hmm. Can you download Trackmania for free? So I don't think... I think it's probably only on Steam now, though. Trackmania uh, United forever. Steam retail developer website unavailable. Yeah, so it's not available anymore on the developer website. <laughs> Rip. Wait, so then how would I get my new version? Like, if I were to download Trackmania again, how would I get it? Oh, you can't get Nations Forever on the official website. The fuck? I mean, Trackmania United Forever is on Steam. I know it's on Steam. Mm. But I bought originally the official website version. Oh, yeah. So, just like if in theory I would lose my install, then how would I reinstall it? Is what I'm mm -hmm. wondering. Did you get like a CD key from it? Uh, maybe. Because uh, some older titles you can redeem <laughs> from Steam, from what I remember. Two thousand nine is when I registered. Holy shit! Oh, thank fuck! I'm not screen sharing because my website, my fucking password is right in the email. Holy <laughs> shit! It would have been the end. Yeah, I mean that's why I'm very careful with screen sharing. Like I'm constantly turning it off just in case something on accident pops up. Like you know, my browser history and stuff. Don't want to see that. Uh... Yeah, your browser history, your uh, subscription to diapers. Yeah, I don't want to see, like, you know, the, all the history of the puppy videos I watch. You know, cute puppy and kitten videos on YouTube. <clears throat> Is the Steam back now? I have no idea. I can see friends. <laughs> That's not true. Your, if your friends list is empty. Oh, I just typed to you. Trackmania. Okay, United forever. Oh god. Okay, I bought it a long time ago. On Gamers Gate. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, 404. Okay, what if I log into Gamers Gate? Select all images with motorcycles. Okay. Fuck, wrong one. Is it this one? And can you screen share so we can entertain the chat? What? This is passwords? still not my password. Fuck. Reset password, I guess. <laughs> the fuck's my gamer's gate password? Enter your email address. It's pleb pleb dot pleb. Don't dot remember pleb. if I bought anything on gamer's gate. Hi there, light pleb. Just don't mind us, me and Toaster, just, you know, we got kicked out of our gameplay because t Toaster Tuesday Steam, uh, blah, 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 blah. I mean, uh, isn't like a crusty sock the best, the best feeling, I mean. But why the fuck are you talking about socks? 
I'm paying attention to chat. Why the fuck are Natulas and Toaster talking about socks? Did I not do the correct email? Was it in my spam? Junk. Yeah, it's in my fucking spam folder. You are receiving this email because you've requested a password reset. New pa oh, it's one of those. It's like, here's your new password. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Sign in. Enter password. Oh, what the f Can I just copy paste it, please? <laughs> it's like random generated bullshit password. Ah, uh, yeah. That's probably my old password as well. <laughs> oh, fucking new privacy policy up to yeah I accept whatever no one fucking reads these clean so no clean socks Wait, what, what again why are you talking about socks <laughs> what the fuck okay my first purchase was a free game on gamers gate you will never ever fucking Guess what the game is. You simply will never guess it. I guarantee it. Mm. Yeah, I, I have no clue. Not even chat. Like, if I will tell you the name of the game I got for free, the first game on Gamers Gate, mm. no one in the world is gonna say, oh, I totally could have guessed that. It's literally called Volvo the game. <laughs> okay. I didn't even know that fucking existed. Is that like a promotion for the Volvo cars? I don't know. Our Swedish brand? Needs no code. DRM free. Volvo the game. Okay. This page has been annihilated. What the fuck? Download Volvo the game. Okay, I can download. So that would mean I can download Trackmania United here. Oh, wait, I do have a key. Right. So I have a key. I wonder if I could use that on Steam. Activate project on Steam. Product you enter is not valid. Okay. Freaking trash. Well, I can download trackmania here at least so that's mm. so if i ever want to reinstall that's where i can do it and apparently i bought po <laughs> postal 3 <laughs> holy shit the best game and uh trackmania 2 valley faces of war and dark souls 2 scholar of the first sin okay so is Steam back online? I believe so. Ready to redo the whole level? Uh, I mean, <laughs> are you ready for the ear rape? Oh, yes. so loud. Yes, put it in my ear. Nice and deep. In the ear. In the ear. Again, who the fuck uses socks? I, I don't get it. I don't get the appeal. Well, let's just bring logic to the table. When you're having sex... ...as a person with a penis... ...you put dick in a fleshy hole. Usually a vagina or an asshole. Or, a, or someone's mouth. Which is all flesh. So why the fuck would you use a sock and not, like, your hand? A sock is like not flesh, your hand is at least flesh. I don't get it. I mean, the closest thing is like a banana peel. <laughs> what the fuck? Am I the only sane motherfucker around here? Grabs gun and reloads. You come in your hand. Strong kid, I'm only no, no, no part person. What? Just using your hand to masturbate doesn't mean you come in your hand. You can come 
on and in lots of other things. There's some sick fucks that have like a jar with a My Little Pony figure in it. <laughs> if you've ever seen that and been scarred by the internet. Wait, wh why would you not just use some paper? Why the fuck would you use a sock and store that sock and waste a fucking sock that you can use for your feet? If you, you could have just to think about the environment. If you can just use some fucking paper, like toilet paper. No, toilet paper, not normal paper. What the fuck are you thinking? <laughs> toilet paper! Holy shit, light! <laughs> I use sandpaper. <laughs> just, yeah. <laughs> sandpaper. Toilet paper can cut. What? I have never ever cut myself with toilet paper. How? I'm grabbing toilet paper right now and trying to cut myself. Hold on. I don't know how you would ever. Like, here's, here's the toilet paper. This is not ever gonna fucking cut my hand. Let's rub it on my nose, try to cut my nose. Ooh. You can't cut yourself with fucking toilet paper. What, what are you talking about? I mean, Strunky, don't do self-harm on stream. <laughs> it's toilet <laughs> Fuck. Let's put this aside. Keep it for later. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, but, no, seriously. Like, I, I don't know why you'd fucking use a sock. Or, like... How the fuck do you wash a, a cum sock then? That who was? And why would you even want to use a... Why would you bother with getting a sock dirty from cum? It, but then you're... Why would you put it in the washing machine? Why bother if you can just throw it in the toilet? When you can just throw a, a, toilet paper in the to toilet. Oh my god. Let's not even talk about underwear. <laughs> um, why? Okay, here's the question. Why bother using a sock and then and, and then put in the effort to wash it, let alone fucking throw it in the washing machine? Okay. And even if you put it in the washing machine, do you only put the cum sock in and waste the whole washing process on one sock? Or you put in other socks that you wear, which is also disgusting that you're washing your other socks with a cum sock together. So in all fucking cases, it's fucked up and you should just use like something like toilet paper that you can just throw away. What the actual fuck? What do you mean it's not disgusting? It's just, it's just fucking... Wait, did, did it save the... Level? Um, Forest of Corpses. Oh. Yeah, it's the right one. Uh, it did save the gold. <laughs> Hitler's strength stems from it's the single purpose for the washing machine. By a key kept in it gets washed away. The a washing machine is designed the base. Yeah, to, to wash your clothes, Fire that's true. Right? Like, you know, if you have, you know, clothes that have been stained with some sweat or like some dirt. But I don't think you'd want to, like, deliberately put cum in there as well, like... 
Like, maybe, you know, if there's accidentally some bed sheets that, you know, some cum stains got on. Yeah, okay. But not if you got a whole load in one fucking sock. Like, what the fuck? And, and... And again, why put in the effort to wash a fucking sock? If you can just throw away some fucking toilet paper, holy shit. Did you just forget about it? You just use the toilet paper, however much you need. Throw it in the fucking toilet, flush that shit. Oh, and guess what? You can forget about it. So, okay, you know, maybe maybe I stand corrected on the fact that, you know, uh, sure, a washing machine will probably wash it out. But again, why would you put in the effort to give yourself more washing chores? Not to mention, every time you use it, I guess you hopefully have other socks to do the... F enough other socks to do the laundry instantly. So that's fucking inconvenient. Like, I just don't fucking see the logic of using a cum sock. Unless, unless you use it multiple times in a row, but that's also fucking disgusting. I can't even fucking imagine the fucking smell. <laughs> Makes me want to fucking puke in my mouth. Oh, we're coming back to the cum sheets. A cum shirt? What the fuck? <laughs> what? What? Oh, no. Piss poop? What the fuck is a piss poop drawer? What the fuck are we talking about? Oh. I gotta see if I can find a picture. Uh, <laughs> Finally, at least Natulis agrees with me on something. What the fuck is a piss poop drawer? <laughs> Finally, a sane answer from Natulis. <laughs> Fucking piss poop drawer. I mean, piss poop is at least more disgusting than cum, technically. Right? Also, I'm getting so many links, I need to, like, open them all, I guess. Papa Roach, last resort. Squeaky clean. Squeaky clean version? What is squeaky clean? I guess no profanity. Okay, what's the sound? What's the link by light? Oh shit, that's my cup sock! <laughs> oh god, no, Ernie! No, Ernie! Oh. Okay, what's this? Oh, fuck, Ernie, how could you? Mom found a piss drawer. What the fuck? Imagine the smell. Okay, what's this? It's the same one. Did I misclick? It was literally both the same thing you both sent. But I sent it first. Okay, what the fuck? I mean, yeah, obviously mom is gonna find that when she smells that there's fucking piss smell. Holy crap. That's why it's bad to have diapers. Yeah. Three years old. I mean, you know. At least he was creative. But like, holy shit, that lazy to just go to the bathroom? <clears throat> yeah. Again, why, why put in extra effort to wash a fucking sock if you can just use paper? 
toilet paper. Not, not a sheet of paper, obviously. Soft toilet paper. And again, I don't think you can cut yourself on it because then we wouldn't be using it to wipe our ass. And I also, after peeing, use toilet paper on my dick. Because that's also quite normal, I would assume. It's kind of why I generally don't like using urinals in public, because there's no toilet paper handy there. So yeah, a conversation has been had. Um, yeah, it's just inconvenient to use a cum sock because you're just creating unnecessary extra laundry for yourself. And you risk being Ernie. And you risk someone else maybe finding it as well. There's just so many fucking risks involved. It just doesn't make sense. I live alone. You said your parents sometimes visit you. Imagine one of your parents visiting you for dinner. And, you know, they want to use the bathroom. And, and oh, what? There's a cum sock on the floor somewhere. Accidentally fell out of the laundry. Like, oh, that's an interesting sock there. It looks a lot different. It's a bit stinky, like... <laughs> it's not like you have cum socks all over the dinner table, mm -hmm. Okay, but even still, okay, you're the exception of Natulus that you don't ever get people upstairs. Still, inconvenient extra laundry. It's more, it's less convenient to have to do the extra laundry of putting in the cum sock and finding it through all, between all your other socks, rather than just using fucking toilet paper and throwing it away. It's like, it's like the same logic of when you wipe while sitting, it's like, how the fuck is that convenient? You just risk touching your fucking poop with your hand. You can't even confirm how much is on the fucking toilet paper. It's fucking uncomfortable as fuck, like... Who does that? Why is it not dying? I'm dying. 20 seconds. Ah! <laughs> oh, too many. Why did it explode so quick? I don't understand why a lot why you would wipe while sitting down. Again, that makes no fucking logical sense. Yeah, of course, because a cum sock doesn't make fucking sense. Use fucking toilet paper. Holy shit. Or use your girlfriend, I guess, or your boyfriend. Use their socks. Or their mouth. Or other holes they might have. <clears throat> or a condom as well. That's also a very good option. <clears throat> and with condoms, you have, you know, <clears throat> an extra thing you can, like, throw at, like, people you hate. I mean, I guess you could technically do that with a cum sock as well, but like a cum sock will like probably 
be dried out. Whereas, like, if you throw, like, a <clears throat> condom, then you actually have, like, you know, a better thing to throw at someone you hate. He's eating me. What the fuck? A shadow? Like... What? What is happening? What? It's a ghost. Alright. Ow. There are socks. I mean, using someone else's sock is also just like, I wouldn't even want to touch someone else's sock. So you mean you use their sock and don't tell them? Just put it back in the drawer? <laughs> I mean, you could technically do that, but I wouldn't want to touch anyone's sock. I mean, if I'm in someone else's home, I might as well just come over their floor and not give a shit if I hate them. Replace their toothpaste. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> I'm not even gonna let you come over, Natulus. No cum sock users allowed. <laughs> Shredding your sock. The only month she's allowed to visit is uh, November. When you come over, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not the first time I heard about the concept of cum socks, I just always thought it was stupid. And then I suddenly meet people, or at least one person, who's like, No, cum socks are actually useful! It's like, no, just fucking use pa toilet paper. It's a lot more yeah, useful. I always thought it was uh, like an uh, American thing. Like American Pie and brings it up. Exactly. And American Pie is like a fucking sa satire. Of, mm -hmm. like, sex related stuff. <laughs> yeah, a, a Minecraft cum sock mod. Entire topic what? This entire entire topic it left me drained. Drained. Just like a penis that's about to ejaculate, or has ejaculated. I mean, keep that sock away from me. So you do agree, toaster, that using toilet paper is better than a sock? Yeah, of course. Sock thing is weird. See? Oh my god, toaster, you're my best friend. This is why Toaster has VIP in my chat, and Natulas doesn't. <laughs> like, like, I know Toaster memes a lot on me, but at least he's sane and, like, thinks cum socks are weird. <clears throat> Put 
on my cum vest. Kappa. <laughs> no, just a normal vest. <laughs> because it's cold. Why is Toaster VIP? Because he thinks cum socks are weird. You know, he has like a normal human sane opinion. The firebender. Oh, nice blue flame. First time I saw that. What about the poop sock? No one mentioned the poop sock, only a poop oh. drawer was mentioned. Which would be even more fucked up. Because that's even more of a hassle to clean. How the fuck does one poop in a sock? But they have some big socks. Whatever you do, don't combine them. <laughs> oh god. Free <laughs> lubricant. A shiz sock. <clears throat> Makes me remember a term that uh, a guy from a high school. Ah, said, he's up there. Which was uh, brunka, which is uh, that you take a shit, wank, and cry at the same time. A shit, wank, and what? And cry. Cry. Why would you cry when shitting and wanking? I mean, you get all the feelings. Uh. Okay. I usually don't associate crying with shitting and jizzing, but... <clears throat> joked about this being the, uh, that we were gonna play episode one again yeah i know that's why we're playing yeah. episode three yeah i mean but it ended up being the same playing the same mission over and over uh, true and the next uh, steam maintenance is soon mm. Sounds fun. Yes. Oh, slow mo. Oh. Oh, I got the weak spot.
Sam's moaning in the forest. Oh, he is. See, He's this is his sock. This is what happens to cum sock users. They get like hung in the trees here. <laughs> And then they get shot in the balls. Three shots. One in the ball, one in the other ball, and one in the dick. Oh, I've got an achievement. Yeah, this time as well. Weird that we didn't get it right last time. <laughs> Did we miss someone? I guess so. Oh uh, yeah, it's like only 3% of the players got it. Hmm. No, it's a good thing we redid the level then. Now we have a cool achievement to flex on our Steam profiles. Nice. Oh, there's even an achievement for a Comsock. Comsock achievement. It's like a reverse achievement. Mm. It's like a life failure. It's like uh, those that uh, pay for hentai games on Steam and then it shows up on their profile page. Yeah, thankfully there's like a hidden option coming for that soon. Oh, <laughs> so you can now spend uh, on the uh, Christmas holiday uh, sale. Yeah, I'm gonna buy all the hentai games. All the uh, Santa games. Oh, slow motion double shot. Yeah, the sex with Hitler game. I mean, to, to be fair, I think if they're at least decent quality, I have no problem with sex games being on Steam. Like, that's yeah, I, miles better than, like, bullshit asset flips. Yeah, I play hentai games for the story. Yeah, exactly. Man, who's Wicker Man? Isn't that the Nicolas Cage movie where he burns alive in you know, a big wooden oh. like, sacrifice thing? The th same thing you just mentioned earlier. Yes. Oh, who knows? Oh, he's coming with the Kamsak. Oh no. no. To be fair, like he's looking for Natulas. He wants to punish Natulus with his chainsaw. Leaving the cum saw. He was following the scent. Chainsaw. Gummy vummy. Toki voki. Yeah, just every t like instead of like it's not just like one cum sock in the chainsaw, but like the whole blade is just covered in freshly used cum socks, and when it like spins, like all the freaking splashes of cum come f flying from it, and it just like hits your face. All the cum socks like. I'm glad mm -hmm. oh, that I made a funny joke for once. Yes. Doesn't happen often. Na, 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 
with your mind and uh, oh god no the mm. green fog not the green fog See all those zombies hanging there? Those are also all Kumsak users. That's what happens. Fuck, shovel. Ah, uh, Schnooper! Schnoop, Schnoop! Where is he? Ah, he's shooting me. I right, got one. Nice. Uh, did you kill the other one, or is he still all around? No idea. Oh, fuck. I oh, can't aim for shit. Explore the guys. Now. Us. That is even more fucked up. So foreplay with a calm sock, is that like a hand puppet sock? <laughs> oh hey. buried in the pile of bodies. <laughs> Come suck Steve. Alright, finally we're not dying and restarting, we're not crashing. Mm -hmm. We can finally continue here. And I was looking for bottles. Suck, Chad. Believe what you want to believe. I mean, that would be like a kumkake. Like that would just be a sock playing Sasha Gray Simulator. More like Saksha Gray Simulator. <laughs> this is a sawmill mm. or a sock mill.
That's a lot of fucking saw blades, holy shit. Kinda weird that you, you don't fight in here. Yeah, I missed the opportunity to like kick down zombies into the saw blades. So that can mean only one thing, there's a hidden bottle in here. Come sock simulator on Steam to gift you no. Come on, oh Jesus. Almost walked into it. For some weird reason it doesn't exist. Hmm, I wonder for what weird reason it doesn't exist. Maybe because, you know, not many people are weird in the way that they use a fucking cum sock. I am see, kind of uh, tempted to see if there's any rule 34, but I'm, I'm too afraid. See, a person ha like, here's the thing, Natulus. A person has not made cum sock simulator, but they have made sex with Hitler. That just shows you how fucked it up it is to, like, use a cum sock. Come toilet paper simulate that doesn't exist either. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. Because no one needs to simulate that. Because that's a normal thing to do. Coming. Ah, she shot me. Oh, these saws are nice cover, actually. <laughs> All those fucking bodies flying. Nice. Oh, look at the wood particles. Nice detail. Hmm. Take a deep breath so you can like feel the sawdust in your fucking nose. This is the first game ever that actually has sawdust particles. Yeah, actually. I've never ever seen a game then there. The fuck? Mm -hmm. That's a weird twitching little Love the ragdolling enemies. Come here, little Nazi zombie. Get in the saw. <laughs> Oi. Do I hear flies? There's a sock somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta be. Probably. No, no, I found it. 
You're the shit and piss drawer over here. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot a hole in it so it can leak. No. No, not the carpet. Do it. I dare you. No. I don't want to restart again. But it's fun. It is, but I just don't want to restart again. <laughs> Oh, you mean it's, you don't find it funny to replay the same mission over and over? No. Unless it's level one. Mm. Level one, the best one. Yeah, my favorite level. We've had piss, shit, and cum. Yeah, no vomit yet. Exactly. I mean, you know. You do have that porn genre of like, you know, Asian women puking into each other's mouths that Randy Marsh from South Park really likes. But, you know. Oh, Steve is just sitting there. Steve. Generally speaking, if you're feeling sick and you're about to vomit, I assume that you, like, you know, try to go to a toilet. Or have, like, if you're unable to be walking and feeling sick, you know, maybe have, like, a bucket ready. If that's the normal thing to do. Either toilet, or if you can't really move as much, have a bucket ready. Not a sock, I hope. <laughs> Fucking vomit sock. Oh no. The holy trinity of uh, poop, vomit, and cum. Vomit sock. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's gonna leak out of the sock very quickly. Something tells like I don't need to try it, but like I'm pretty sure that's gonna happen. Orange sock. I mean, not all vomit is orange, but yeah, very often it is like a brownie orange, but not always. Ah. No joke though, if you're very sick and you have to throw up a lot, and you've emptied your whole stomach, Everyone probably knows that when your stomach is empty and you still have to throw up because of a sickness. That's a very painful experience, right? Um, the tip is to, like, get cola. And make sure, you know, you try to get the gas out of it as much as you can. And then drink cola. Maybe it sounds weird, but like at least when you're gonna keep throwing up, you're just, you know, it's not gonna be painful and you're actually just gonna be throwing up cola. Which will be a lot less nasty than the uh, uh, stomach juices. Uh, I don't know the English word, but in Dutch we call it hull. Or drink water as well. But that's still gonna taste a bit nastier. Blow there, Harry. Harry Salto. Welcome. I'm. I'm sorry that the chat is talking about very weird things. There's not a worse moment to uh, randomly join the chat. So I hope the chat has not has not scarred you.
Where's train? Alright. Ah. Who's making that train sound noise? Is oh. It? Oh, oh. Oh no. Okay, you wait. Use the uh, trap. Yeah, I'll use it. Just tell me when to shoot. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, because I couldn't. Like, I was zoomed in on the thing, so. Mm. It had to be my. Confirmer or whatever. Yes. Father, I don't know. Yeah, you can also drink water, that's true, but again, like, cola is a strong flavor, so it's gonna mask a lot of the gross stuff, whereas if you're just mm. gonna puke out water, it's still gonna kind of taste nasty. So, again, it's still more pleasant to just use cola. And it's also, you know, because it's like, uh, like the pH of cola is like more similar to like your stomach. I believe so. I think this guy had a fun time. <laughs> <laughs> this is again what happens to sock users. Some plebs having a meal here. I found the soccer room. Ah, oh, fuck, I missed. Do I like Left 4 Dead? Uh, not really. I'm not a big fan of Left 4 Dead. I prefer. Uh, what was the other name of the other game? I forgot, I forgot what the name was of the other zombie game. I always forget the name. But yeah, Left 4 Dead is a bit too chaotic for me. And not enough about shooting zombies and more about like containing hordes, which I don't really enjoy. Well, it's good that a lot of people enjoy it. It's just not really for me. Yeah, what was that other zombie game? Where you like... It has like two games now? Maybe even a third? And you have like... Is it the same setup? The or? weld you have like a welding to weld door shot. Ah, uh, killing floor. Hmm. Yeah, that's the one. I much more prefer killing floor over Left for Dead. Killing floor one and two really good. No, again, not saying that Left for Dead is bad. I just not for me. Hmm. I mean, it's a fun game with friends. I'd say that, yeah. but playing that single player, oof. Yeah, I mean, if I'd have a group of four friends, I could probably enjoy it, but like... Mm. I tried it once, and it was just too chaotic for me, I just yeah, didn't really enjoy it. Whereas Killing Floor, I just love the, how the guns feel in that game. And it's a lot more combat-focused. Yeah, with the flat, it pushes like you have to rush from point A to Yeah. Yeah, I'm like with zombie games, I have more fun with actually killing the zombies rather than just avoiding them constantly. That's my preference when. Because then they just become an annoying hindrance rather than an objective to kill them. And like. I get like satisfaction of like clear clearing a whole area of <gasps> zombies. It's also why I like this game, because in general you clear the areas of all the zombies. Hmm. Ooh. Preacher with five whole shots. Ooh. Now they're spoiling you.
I like it that there's like four wine bottles in this map. No, we haven't found a single one. We probably may a uh, sock cover them. Yeah, I just hidden with a sock over the bottle. Mm. But yeah, again, I, I I keep saying that I really do like that they're hidden well, because it just makes it more fun to hunt. Though maybe they could have put a little bit more in a level, potentially. Not saying they have to, but they could have. Yeah, they could have added like a third type. Or just generally more bottles, so that mm. you find them a bit more often, but... I know. Definitely, like, maybe, like, if this map has four, then maybe they could have even doubled the amount, but definitely not, like, 40. <laughs> like, that would be too much. <laughs> mm. <Ugh>. Feels like this mission is a lot longer than uh, the train one. Yeah, the train one went by fast. But maybe it's just because we're redoing this one a couple times as well. No, no. The Steam server thingy and... And the Sock Arc. And, yeah, and, uh... And, uh... The... Toaster getting squashed by logs. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. Healing floor. <laughs> It is funny because like a Dutch a Dutch female name is Floor, mm -hmm, mm. which you know I th I assume comes like from the word flora. Ah uh, yeah. But it's very awkward when you have a game name called Killing Floor. Mm. Expected the bottle on the boat here, but mm. yeah, they have hidden it very well. <laughs> it's a tree over there that's split in half. A split tree? Yeah. Oh, uh, if you come here and look over there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm very surprised we haven't been able to find a single bottle. Maybe like in the chainsaw room, or the circular saw room, I mean, on the, in the <clears throat> attic or something. Like on the ceiling somewhere. But, yeah. Well hidden. Gafar. Oh no! It's a trap. How could that have happened? Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh yeah, no ammo for the creature. What the fuck? Oh. Vlad? The sounds are very weird now. Mm. Oh no, lost souls! Made of glass! Where do we go? Right. Ah! <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck, that escalated quickly. Mm. Fun radio channel. <laughs> Not to us. Oh, yeah, you're just gonna take a sock break, don't you? <laughs> have fun with your sock, Not to us, you sick fuck. Thank you for being here and having a conversation with us. Hope you sleep well. And tomorrow is a big day for me, by the way. Most likely gonna sign the documents for the house. Most likely, like. I'd say like 90% sure, I hope. Well, my coach told me that's probably gonna happen Wednesday, but you never know. But yeah, it's a big day tomorrow. And I might even know which day I'm gonna be moving tomorrow. So, yeah, hopefully that's some positive thoughts for you to uh, make yourself feel better about me in some way. I mean, Natulis genuinely gets happy from that kind of news. So, mm. positivity, right? Yes. Oh yeah. Hater after all that hate. No, I don't hate you for real. You even if you do weird things with socks, but you know. Yeah, have a good night, sock toolus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. We do love you though. I'm I'm pretty sure like all the uh regular people who come here to chat and chill have um have all kinds of positive feelings for each other, I hope. <laughs> I have to remember that one. <laughs> Stupid wine bottles. I would be very well hidden over there. Especially down at the bottom, it's so much fog, you can barely see anything. Almost be unfair to hide it there. Oh, 
Ah, oh, fuck, for a second I thought I saw one. But I think that's just uh No, it's just like a support thingy. trying to find bottle but ain't happening And fucking stop laughing. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to read chat for a while until that message is gone. But I'll keep laughing. You're gonna time out light so no. the message disappears. No. You dear. <laughs> well, I have a way better view here with less fog. Mm. But I ain't seeing a bottle. That would be a very good spot, though. Holy shit. Tomorrow is fucking exciting, holy shit. Really hoping I'll have like a date that I'll actually be moving. Mm. Just, uh... Now, how long have they pushed it forward now? Is it two weeks? It's been like a month almost. Oof. Pretty much over a month, like it was right after my birthday. It was October 20th. That I had confirmation that I would get the apartment. And then, yeah, all we had to do was, like, change, like, my, like, uh, status, basically. Which would have to get, like, you know, the, the official government or whatever township thing. I had to just, like, like, my contact, she had to, like, Uh, let them control, like, uh, check my income to see if I'm viable. Mm. And stuff like that. So I instantly, like, day one, fucking got all the documents ready of, like, my income. So, like, my last three months of income and, like, spending all the things screenshotted and got the documents and everything. So that was all done, like, instantly, pretty much. Like, right yeah. after my birthday, and then, like, yeah. We had to wait a moment, and it's been, like, over a month, so that's, yeah, it's taken very fucking long. Sadly. Well, yeah. you know... No use for me to bitch about it. No, I can just hope that it's gonna happen as soon as possible, and, uh, yeah. Hopefully tomorrow will just be, uh, very precise news on when... Um... Uh, yeah.
Oh shit, they're coming. Also, eventually, like when I have everything set up and I can buy like more optional things, mm -hmm. I would love some kind of lighting projector or something. I yeah, like to view uh, movies and series on. No, or? I mean like uh, to get like. Where I can like turn off the lights and then use the projector where my light becomes like colorful, kind of like a disco or whatnot. Oh yeah. Hmm. Like not literally a disco, but you know, kind of like having like atmospheric color colored lights. There's probably some that also even like can be combined with music that they mm. react to the musical rhythm and stuff. So that would be cool. Would also be cool if I could have it like bound to my PC in some way and that chat could influence what color it makes or something. Because mm. I've seen other people do similar things, but yeah, I'll have to see. Uh oh. Mr. Chainsaw is coming for me. Uh oh. Oh, go! No, 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 I don't know where Mr. Chainsaw is now. Uh oh, there he is. I'm leaving a present for him. Oh no, 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 no. Holy shit. Pretty calm outside. Okay. I also, uh, when we did groceries yesterday. Or two days ago, we got. Or, yeah, it was yesterday. We got the groceries today, but there was like a thingy. Uh oh. Oh no! Good. Oh no! I'm going around. Uh, it was like a thingy that if you order a box of chocolate milk, you have a chance to win a, a fridge of that brand. Oh. So I did get. A box of chocolate milk, and it's like I think December 3rd when the winners get more. I'm not expecting it, but you never know. Oh, shit. No, we're so close. Wait, I never know if you win anything, but I, I do need a fridge, so it would be absolutely perfect if I won that. Mm. So is it the chocolate milk themed fridge? Yes. Nice. It's like the biggest chocolate milk brand in the Netherlands. Hmm. Like a chocolate milk fridge and a lifetime supply. Don't know if there's a lifetime supply, but it would be nice if the fridge inside had like a portal to like infinite packs. Mm hmm. Gonna get the uh, diabetes. <laughs> diabetes. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, I love chocolate milk, but I don't often buy it because it's just expensive. Mm. Same even for regular. I mean, mil regular milk isn't that expensive. Uh, I do like regular milk. I used to drink it a lot more. Like back when I would eat dinner with my brother and mother as a family. Mm. But like in, in general, it's not just milk. In, in general, I don't really drink anything else than water. Water and G fuel. Yeah. But G fuel is basically I make with water. Though sometimes mm. I do get milk just for G fuel, but. Mil milk you feel it is very good like most yeah, flavors I can imagine most flavors well not all of them the sour flavors i wouldn't recommend but like the sweet flavors those get pretty good with milk like strawberry shortcake flavor excellent with uh milk holy shit and even the cinnamon one the super meat boy i have <gasps> got it holy shit I got like super meat boy cinnamon flavor is also very good with uh, milk. Mm. Like a sweet cinnamon flavor, yeah. Very good. Ow! And then once I had French vanilla flavor. Mm. And that was like undrinkable with water. Oh. It was it literally tasted like dish water. Oof. With water though. But with milk it was very good. <laughs> Kick that jumbies. Uh-oh, Hans is coming for me! Swinging his thing right in my face. Oh, he come! Wait, how is he there now? He teleport. No, oh, he's coming inside. I think. <laughs> yeah, he's sitting in front now. <laughs> oh my god! Ich bin hier Ah, he's coming! I'm gonna put a mine down. Oh fuck. Oh, oh, kill him, kill him. He's doing the dance. He's doing the dance. I'm gonna put some TNT down as well. Yes. Oh my god. Uh, no, 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 no. Ah. There's some TNT in the middle here, if you can lure him. Yes. Oh, 
he coming. He's dead. Oh, nice. Good. There's so many. <sighs> oh fuck. Oh wow 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 wow. Ow ow. Well, at least fucking Hans is gone. Ow. Stop searching. God damn it. Oh, you can jump out of the balcony. Yes. Alright. I'm down, by the way. Oh, good. Time to die while reviving you again. Uh, it's pretty clear. The, the entrance isn't. <laughs> That's a lot of zombies. Some gold. Noish. Play starting to thin out. I've been uh, looting corpses for nothing, kind of. Mm. 
I mean, you get grenades and stuff from them. And I was only getting Webley ammo. And some Schnooper ammo. You also have an ammo cache here. Oh. Hi, Moosey. Weeb ammo. Oh, yeah, I guess Moosey also call it, ca calls the Webley the Weebly. Mm. I need to pee, but I'm too busy gaming. I'd better uh, <laughs> find an alternative. Drink more. Maybe there's like a... I mean, you have a drawer next to you. No, I don't. How would you know if I have a drawer? <laughs> Razer RGB cost me bag. Oh no. We're real gamers when you can't afford to stand up and go pee. So Just... does it change color depending how full it is? Just pee while you're on your hot kill streak. Damn, one whole freaking bottle in this map. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. The forest of corpses. I'm gonna eat some chocolate. The Volta Schloss, Hitler's mountain castle. Getting in will not be easy. Why oh, does the thing open? Out again will be harder still. Open, the stupid package. You seek is open up. What other horrors will you find? I can't open the package. Is it side proof? Yes. I got like a chocolate thing over there. No. Mm. I am gonna go pee after the cutscene. Yeah, I need to as well. Hmm. Hopefully we won't get eaten by zombies. I'm gonna go and hide. Or kicked for being AFK. I'm gonna go better be. Yeah, quickly bathroom work. I might as well fill my water bottle.
Wow, I have not been eaten by zombies yet. Welcome back. Have you found any wine bottles? Nope. But I did notice that you pee very long. And the uh, toilet is kind of broken. So uh, mm. you have to wait for it to finish kind of flushing. And then you have to like hit it once to actually stop. <laughs> okay. So you have to wait for it. But still, I also filled the water bottle in the meantime. Oh. I guess I'm just filled with pee. <laughs> Got a big tank. <laughs> the words of a long pee. Oh no. Well, I guess we figured out that you can't be in the minus points. the weak spot damn I didn't know Hitler was this thick he's packing Ooh, freaking dump truck yeah I wish I had a girlfriend with a dump truck like that <laughs> hello Ready to pee at any moment. seen the skeleton yet? No. Uh, in the uh, at the castle, like the tower on the far right, in the window. Uh, much further right, I think. Can you even see the the tower? Oh, you oh, can't. Oh, that tower. <gasps> Is that like the Greek god that's like being packed forever? Not god, but like mythology person. I forgot the name. I don't know if he was a god or not, but there was someone in the Greek mythology punished. He would get eaten by birds and then resurrected and then eaten by birds again. I forgot his name. Speaking of Greek mythology, have you played any of the God of War games? Um, like the first one on PlayStation 1? PlayStation 2. Was it 2? Yes. Did you complete it? Um, I think so. 
really I mean, good. It's been really long since uh, I played it. I do recommend. Uh. I actually want to replay it again on stream. On uh, the highest difficulty I can beat. Nice. I'm gonna see if I can get good. Because I fucking love the God of War games. <gasps> Whoa. During the lightning strike, there was a skeleton in that tree branch. Oh, really? Yeah. That's spooky. Like that one. But only during the lightning strike you see it. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Oh. Nice. Nice little detail. But God of War, the original games are so underrated, especially now with the new God of Wars and people acting as if the old ones were childish and like, mm. you know, that still pisses me off. Like, uh, I think the new ones are pretty good as well, but mm, I'd still prefer the older styles. And there's plenty of things in the newer ones that I also don't like as much, of course, but... Mm. Kind of feels like that genre has kind of uh, died out. I would disagree that they're movies entirely. Like, there is definitely some combat. Like, I don't think the combat plays itself, especially on the higher difficulties. It can be pretty challenging. But what did you say? Because I was distracted. Um, no, that type of genre has kind of diminished. Oh, like, yeah, like the uh, hack and, War and, hack and you slash. know, the game Darksiders. Yeah. Darksiders is a hack and slash as well? Um, yeah, pretty much. Um, hmm. Darksiders 1 is pretty linear. It's like semi-open world, and Dark Souls 2 is... Uh, Dark Souls 2 is a lot more open. Mm. Uh, but I didn't get far into that game. I know Bayonetta is pretty popular, which is similar. Um, and then the more... modern Castlevania games is also... Like, oh. Al almost hack and slash. I didn't know that. Yeah, I guess Ninja Gaiden also comes a bit close. Mm. But Have they released any new games since Xbox 360? I think there are some newer Ninja Gaiden games. Oh yeah, that's correct. But that's with like almost any genre Moosey, like... Almost any game genre that had some kind of depth in some way has so more or less turned into an action game. Mm. So like you look at Final Fantasy, it's... Oh hey, there's a creep in the bushes here. You look at Final Fantasy, it's... Why can't I kill this dude? Final Fantasy has become an action game. Mm. And... It's Plenty of other genres as well. Look at Tomb Raider is also more of an action game rather than like platforming. Uh, yeah, exactly. But I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just broadening your statement that not just Final Fantasy, but just games in general are all turning more into action games. I made like a clip of like uh, Alex from the Angry Joe show who put a good who had a good statement on that. Maybe I can find it. Yeah. 
other genres as well, JRPGs as well. Uh, again, because like complex stuff. Uh, at least I think I made a clip. Or was it on Twitch then, maybe? I thought it was on YouTube at first. Um... No, I don't want to update my password. <laughs> update it. Show it on stream. Yeah. Upload password, highlight, expire. No, I want clips, damn it. Clips. I hate how they keep changing the fucking UI. Oh my god, fuck off with your fucking bullshit. Created by... No, I want clips I created. For fuck's sake. Not clips of my channel. Oh, here, clips I've created. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, not button mash, but I still mean, like, it has changed into a more action-focused game. Uh... <laughs> yeah, here. I think this is the clip. Not everything's an FPS. Most things are actually action games. Like, hey, Resident Evil, you know how it used to be a survival horror? Now it's an action game for dumb people. Final Fantasy used to be a tactical RPG. Now it's an action game. Because action games sell. And uh, games that make you think about combat don't. Yeah, basically that. Basically put the link in as well. That's the clip I made. Words of wisdom. And that's what it comes down to, right? People, like most of the gamers, well, I say gamers, most of people who play video games now, like the grand majority, they don't want to think when playing video games, so that's why they sell more. Yeah, yeah, I think action games itself is not a problem. I like action games as well. I just don't want every game to be an action game. I want variety. I like action games. I like more tactical games. I like, you know, a variety of games. The problem is just when everything becomes the same. Because then it just gets stale and there's nothing unique. Like, I, uh, if I look at racing games, I'm very happy that racing games actually has a lot of variety as well. Even though nowadays there's not that many more racing games coming out. But over the history of racing games, there's a lot of variety. Yeah, you know, you've got more realistic... Like, you've got pure simulators, of course. You've got more realistic takes, like Gran Turismo and Forza Motorsport. You've got more action-focused racing games that are more arcadey, like Burnout. You've got like arcadey, futuristic racing games like F Zero. You've got kart racers. You've got combat racers. There's racing games with other vehicles, like airplanes and whatnot. There's, you know, also like ar arcadey realistic games like Need for Speed. There's sports racing games like WRC, Formula One, NASCAR. There's drift racing games, street racing games. And I love all of them pretty much. There's also, yeah, Trackmania I was playing a lot lately. Which is like very arcadey, but like over the top with like jumping and going very fast and like navig 
navigating like a pretty much a roller coaster course. <coughs> so that's why I think, yeah, it's so many different takes on racing games and I love them all in their own way. Holy frame rates. Why is my fr why is my frame rate dying? Schnip schnup oh fuck, didn't see him. Schnip schnap schup. Got non racing arena car games like Twisted Metal. Yeah, exactly, and Carmageddon and stuff. GTA always a car game first, yeah. And that's what I love, right? It's just one genre of examples of how many different ways you can do it. And FPS games also generally have a lot of variety as well, I'd say. But yeah, if you start looking at, you know, your typical action-adventure games, then they start to quickly, like, blend in a bit with each other. But I do think the new God of War games are still, like... Even though there's some things I don't like in it, like the fucking... Spoiling of any kinds of puzzles or whatnot. And there's no platforming at all, it's like very much baby mode. On rails and climbing. In terms of combat, I think, like... God of War is still pretty good. I wouldn't say it's just button mashing or anything. Like, you actually have, like... You know, at least when playing on harder difficulties, I'd say. You do have to, like, dodge and, like, think carefully. <laughs> modern FPS games and good FPS games. I mean... It depends. I wouldn't say that all modern FPS games, like, I'm assuming you're talking more about, like, Call of Duty and stuff. I wouldn't say all Call of Duties are bad. I think some of them are pretty good still for what they are. Well, I definitely felt like God of War was challenging during some moments, and I think I played on, like, normal. Like, I don't think it was, like, the most in-depth thing I ever played in terms of combat, but the combat was, like, deep enough, I'd think, I think. But again, I, I do still prefer the old God of War games over the new ones. Uh, that much is true, because the old ones were just a lot more brutal. Like, all the other old God of War games I would put in my favorite games ever list, whereas the new ones I would not. But I still think they're pretty good games. And four, like, triple-A games.
There were definitely some moments I did really like in the new God of War that were like more brutal, but like, yeah. A lot of other things were sadly not ideal. Old ones yet to dodge for sure, and the new ones as well. Assuming you play on a high enough difficulty. Yeah, you know, like, some of the overproduction stuff I definitely don't like. Again, like, my biggest issue with the new ones are, yeah, the spoiling of puzzles. Like, there's one puzzle and you wait five seconds and they instantly tell you what to do. Like, too much hand-holding in that regard. I hate that. And, you know, that they don't bother with, like, creating any platforming or climbing that is actually in depth. Like, it's pretty much on rails. You just press a button and the game does it for you. Like, that I also don't like. But like in terms of combat, it's good, and story is mostly good, but definitely not like the main. Like I think the, I think the 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 narrative was all right, but in general, the main plot was like not really that interesting. If that makes sense. Like what the main story was about versus like the actual events happening in the game. Like the interactions between the characters were more interesting. Well, you know, it's debatable if they are puzzles in the new game, but yeah, just and a lot of things where you just have to like kind of think for a moment and then the game kind of spoils what to do. Thank you very much, Albert, for the raid. How you doing, Say man? hello to my little friend. How is your queen? Well, the new one. I'd say in the old one there were puzzles that generally were more unique spread out, spread across the game. Whereas the new one does a lot more copy pasting of similar puzzles but more spread out, like more frequent in the game. Again I say puzzles with like quotation marks. I'm doing good Albert. Looking forward to tomorrow to hopefully have some good news about my apartment and now I'm just enjoying some co-op with Toaster who's been sitting quiet in the background not posting his opinion yeah. but like uh, the old God of War games I'd say there'd be fewer puzzles but more unique ones and then the new one just more copy pasted but just done in different areas kind of uh, I just got Sasha Gray. Example of an old puzzle. Uh, I would say, like... Uh, well, again, I say puzzles with quotation marks, right? But, like, having a... Uh, having a... Uh, a cage with an enemy inside and you have to push that cage up a ramp while well, there's enemies attacking you i say puzzle again but it's, it's like more like a side objective right but you basically have to like you know you could see it as a combat puzzle where you have to manage pushing the cage up while also holding off enemies 
and stop the cage from sliding down. Stuff like that. It's usually to open, like, another area. Or there's the puzzle with the time mechanic. One of the God of War games had, like, a mechanic where you could, like, travel back in time. And there was a guy, every time you'd enter the room, the guy would suicide himself. And you had to, like, figure out a way how to, like, stop him. Uh, there were a lot of those, like, time stop and, like, go back into the past quickly, like, moments in that game, I remember. There was also one uh, puzzle where you would see through the eyes of a statue, and it was like a visual puzzle where, where it's like two roads are not connected but once you like view through the eyes of the statue you, the roads connect from that perspective and you can walk across there's like a visual like th puzzle like that i remember that as well there, there were like there were a lot of interesting puzzles like that in the original god of wars But I don't exactly remember which ones were in wh which game. But I'm, I'm definitely gonna like replay the or original God of Wars again when, when I'll get in the mood. I think all of the previous God of War games were pretty good. Like they're among my, they're all together my favorite games pretty much. Like. 1, 2, and 3, Ascension, and the two spin-offs, uh, Ghost of Sparta and Chains of Olympus, which were like PSP games, but I still think are very good. I think I, I, I know like a good video actually that I can recommend uh, under the me. I love his videos. Um, God of War Puzzles, was it? Was it this one? I've been playing through the original God of War games again lately, and now I'm thinking about puzzles and combat and how combining the two can lead to excellent moments of instruction for the player. There's different ways to teach players about important mechanics. Oh, this one was specific, like, puzzles teaching, like... Uh... Combat things. Well, he also has, like, a lot of other good videos around God of War. Um, also a part two in, of, in that. Well, like, I really love this channel. Oh, big chunk of head. One sec. Oh, I'm gonna cover the entire screen. Yeah. No, and beak Yosha and catch him. Oh, fuck. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Enjoy. Now we're gaming. Enjoy the gameplay. <laughs> Wrong way. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Need to waste some Tonki coins, hell yeah. Or you could claim waste a Tonki like 10,000 times. <laughs> well, at least uh, they're being used, that's good. But yeah, oh, uh, yeah. I, I just like love the OG God of War games so much.
And eventually maybe I'll try to play the new ones again. Well, the new one, like the God of War on PS4 again on the highest difficulty. And Ragnarok eventually I'll probably play as well. But... <coughs> But yeah, like I do think the older ones are better. That's definitely, uh, yeah. I see them as like one very nice big adventure, and they all have such like brutal boss fights and cutscenes. Like they, like certain bosses and cutscenes get me really hyped in uh, God of War, the, the original games. I would also say that there are still cutscenes, certain cutscenes as well, and interactions in the new one that get me pretty hyped as well. Like the interaction uh, between Atreus and uh, fuck, I forgot the guy's name. Like one of the brothers or sons of of Thor. He gets like kicked down. I don't remember anymore, but that was like a pretty cool scene as well. Like, there's definitely plenty of things that I did like. But again, just not as good as the OGs. But I, thankfully I still can play the OGs. Just wish there were more of the... Uh, Originals. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, Hans! Ah. But yeah, I, I would recommend if you have a PS3 to like pick up all the God of War games because they all have like gone like remaster ports to PS3, I believe. Oh, okay, you don't. Well, then emulators are always an option as well. But something I do find offensive is that there are some people who want remakes of all, all the other older God of War games in the style of the modern one. And I would not want that. Like, that, that is offensive to me. Because that mentality is, like, acting as if, like, the old ones need to be remade because that gameplay is not good or something, which is so fucking far from the truth. Like, I would actually be offended if they did that. I mean, I think in both cases it would not work, because, like, you'd have to change too much about either game. Because, like, you wouldn't be, like, the, the colossal fights you have in the OGs you could not make in, like, the modern style, because it would just not work like that, I think. Unless you'd put in a lot of fucking cutscenes, but, like... And in the new one, like, again, you'd, it would change, like, yeah. I, I don't think in either way it would work. But, yeah. As long as they don't remake the old games in the style of the new one, because I would definitely get mad about that. I would genuinely get mad. Like, that would piss me off so fucking much, holy shit. Yeah, I just 
Yeah, I just really hate that they come a they make it come across as if the old games are bad and or childish or something. I think that's what I really hate. But that's more like how the a lot of people, some of the devs have been like doing things. Like it's more the people around it causing that. Acting as if the newer games are so much more mature and better, where it's like not true. Like most people who have an opinion on the originals, they haven't properly played them. Like if they think, oh, Kratos was just a, a bloodthirsty dude for revenge, killing everyone not caring. It's like, no, that's way too oversimplified. Kratos was actually a very deep and troubled character in the OGs. Even Ascension had like one of the coolest fights ever, which was like on PS3, that was like the newest one I believe. Like the end fight in that one is fucking gigantic over the top as well, I really loved it. I really uh, miss those kind of games that have that sense of scale, but I hear a lot of people praise Bayonetta. So I, I I need to play the Bayonetta games someday. Hopefully those are uh, similar in, in sense of scale. Have you played Bayonetta Toaster? Ah, uh, for a bit. It's an entertaining game. Is it like a bit over the top as well? Um, it's close to, uh, you know. Uh, Metal Gear Gaiden, I think. R Rising, okay, yeah. Rising is mm. pretty over the top as well. Mm. You're most mad when a new game in the franchise comes out with the same name as the old. Yeah, I do agree. Yeah, I do agree with that as well. I hate that. Because it, like. It, it, it pushes out. Like, just one problem itself is, like, search results on Google, right? It instantly pushes the old game out of the way. Which I hate, yeah. Even Doom did it, and I hate that as well. So, I just refer to Doom 2016 as that. Doom 2016, mm. but it's annoying that they didn't call it Doom 4 or something, or something else, you know. It's a good uh, thing they call Doom Eternal that, and not Doom 2. Mm. You know, so... Yeah, with the 2016 version, they did it for marketing. Yeah, and even Wolfenstein did it. With uh, the one by Raven Software. Even though I'd say that's arguably the best Wolfenstein game ever made. But it still sucks that they, you know, did it with that title. Mm. Yeah, movies do it too. Oh, do, do you watch AVGN, Moosey? Yeah, and I what I also hate about it is that younger generations overlook the older games as well. You know, like, Doom 2016 comes out, and people, you know, of younger generations might think it's a whole new franchise. They just think, oh, Doom, what's this? And they probably will not know that there's been Doom games before that. Uh, in most AVGNs except those in the last couple of years. Okay, I need to, like, turn these off because it's been 10 minutes, but I still need to... I have a fucking amazing video that I want to share. Uh, 
Just heard someone call GTA 3 to first GTA this morning. Holy fuck, that's dumb. I don't know wh how their brain functions. How they think. What, what, what do they think the 3 means in GTA 3? I wonder. Um... This is fucking hilarious. And then there's also like... Oh uh, yeah. The chronologically confused videos of movie titles. It's fucking hilarious. Really recommend it. Oh yeah, I've seen it, okay. Lovely. I was. I also loved that he was like, "There's a new Rocky uh, movie gonna come out. What are they gonna call it? Rocky Balboa?" And he was like, "Fucking correct." <laughs> uh, turn up. So, ooh, cook. But yeah, like, yeah, I, I just think, uh, yeah, I mean, like, I do get annoyed when games in general don't just fucking stay numbered. Unless you make, like, a spin-off, then you can give it, like, a subtitle. Like, I'd say you should just make a number, make the number go up, and stay consistent. You either use numbers or Roman numbers. And not switch between. That's stupid. Stay consistent. And then eventually, you know, perhaps add a, a title after the number. And then only, like, stray off from that if you make a spin-off. Like, for example, Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid did it pretty well for a decent bit. Now you have Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater, that one got a title. Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. But then Metal Gear Solid 5 suddenly had Roman num num number. That made no fucking sense, I hated that. But then they had spin-offs like, yeah, Portable Ops, Peace Walker, Acid. Or what's even more stupid is how, like, the Battlefield and Call of Duty games do it. Like, all of a sudden, Battlefield 1, like, what? That's stupid. And Call of Duty as well. You had Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 1. Well, it was Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, and then Modern Warfare 3. And all of a sudden, later, they made a new Modern Warfare and a new Modern Warfare 2. It's like, what the fuck? Like, I do think it's stupid that they did that. They just, just, uh, I don't know. Yeah, true that. Like, it doesn't matter that much with the Roman numerals, but it still annoys me a bit. You know, like, if I look at Metal Gear Solid, one, two, three, and four are all normally numbered. And then five all of a sudden is Roman num number. Like, why? Uh, only English. I don't know if you can read the rules, but English only. I'm sorry. If you can't speak English, then there's nothing I can do. <laughs> Don't have a digit version and a Roman numeral for the same number. No, no public match. Private.
Wait, what? Don't have a digit version and a Roman general number. No, Roman number for the same. No Wait, what? Wh which game does that use both normal and Roman? I'm not sure if I've seen that before. What do you think, Toaster? Do you agree? Uh, yeah, <laughs> we can make up using with the tiles. But I think with uh, Metagear Sword, Sword 5, uh, using it as a V, I think it make, makes it less cheap, I think. As soon as you uh, go up to like 5 or 6 in a game series, uh, it kind of stagnates the entire series. But it has been going on for long. <laughs> Do you know what game series has like the longest consistent numbering going on? Uh, not that sure. Which one is it? I'd say probably Mario Party. Oh yeah. That has like almost 10. Uh, and then yeah, Final Fantasy has also a large number, but they have like a lot of... ...sub thingies. And then there's like, just like, an online is also just like, an online game is also just one of the numbered series, even though it's very different. Yeah, Final Fantasy is confusing, exactly. Mario Party is just nice and consistent. There's Mario Party, Mario Party 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I don't know how far it goes, but I'm pretty sure that one's very consistent. And I'd say even, like, the Super Mario games, for the most part, like, they don't use numbers, but they all are, are all pretty much... No, that's not true, actually. Most of them are just a subtitle, but Galaxy uh, has a sequel, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sniper Elite, I also like, I mean, I don't know why Sniper Elite 2 is called V2 instead of just 2. But other than that, I think it's done pretty well, you know, Sniper Elite 3, 4, and 5. And then you've got Nazi Zombie Army as the spin-off series. Grand Theft Auto is also kind of confusing because... They do number it mostly, and then you had some spin-offs on PSP. But then Vice City and San Andreas are named after their cities. But I guess they did that because it's like same engine. I believe. Like I believe three Vice City and San Andreas are same engine, right? Whereas, you know, four was a new engine and five was a different engine again. Yeah, you've got the spin-off Vice City Stories on PSP. And same with GTA 3, you have uh, Liberty City Stories on PSP. Those are the spin-offs I was uh, talking about. But I'm gonna guess that Rockstar's idea was because, you know, GTA 3 was the first one in that engine. And then Vice City and San Andreas were technically like sub-games from that era. Even though I'd still say objectively San Andreas is still like the best GTA game ever. And among one of the best games ever made in general. Like San Andreas is so fucking legendary, holy crap.
<laughs> oh no, he's got armored. He's come prepared now with armor. Problem with the PS2 version is also uh, the performance. Like Vice City stories and Liberty City stories were pretty badly ported to PS2. Very shitty frame rate issues. I guess that's a fair point. Oh. Hmm. Is that why I said a grenade? But yeah, speaking of PSP, the God of War PSP spin-offs are also very good and worth playing. And they've also got, like, a uh, HD port to PS3. They're called Chains of Olympus and Ghost of Sparta. Just very good, proper God of War games on PSP. With uh, good enough story and over-the-topness. Synth. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. uh. The meat grinder. You know what's also weird? When a game series numbers, and then they stop not I mean, again, that's what GTA did as well, but... Tony Hawk games did it even weirder. Or, or maybe not, in a similar way, kind of. Because, yeah, Tony Hawk 1, 2, 3... ...and 4. Then they made Underground and Underground 2. So they started titling. And then American Wasteland. And then Project 8, which, I don't know if on purpose or not, was the 8th game, if you count them. And then Proving Ground, and then all of a sudden Tony Hawk 5 again. So that was like a bit odd. Maybe it's just a coincidence that Project 8 was the 8th installment though. I don't know. Because the reason it's called Project 8 was... had to do with the story as well, but... Oh, yeah. And then they made, had a remake of Tony Hawk. They actually have two remakes of Tony Hawk 1 and 2. Which is interesting. 
And I actually have the first remake, because that's not being sold anymore, and you get like Metallica characters in that one as DLC. Mm -hmm. So that's funny. That's what I did always like, the cameo collab characters in the Tony Hawk games. Like, uh, in 2, I believe you had Spider-Man. In 3, you had a lot of different cameos. You had Darth Maul. You had, uh, Wolverine. Uh, some others. Uh, you had a hot devil chick. Um, Tony Hawk 4 had Boba Fett. Um, and then Underground 1, uh, I don't remember that one, but Underground 2 had Shrek. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. Shrek as a playable character. Skatebird? I don't know, I haven't played Skatebird yet. But I do have it on my wish list. Well, Toaster's just waiting for me while I navigate this very tough maze of maze of staircases. You only get to hear All Star when you play as Shrek. Don't think so. Sadly, because that game got released before like Shrek and All Star became a meme. Haven't played. It looks cute. But plays like baby. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't expect very in-depth gameplay of it. I, I would assume it's a bit more simpler. Can't wait for food tomorrow. So what's planned for food tomorrow? Not sure. My mother did want to make like a typical Dutch dinner mm -hmm. twice this week. Which is called Stumpbot. Okay. It's like one of the most typical Dutch things, but I really do like it. It's basically like, uh, well, now I have to use a translator because I don't know what the English word is. Oh, endive, endive. Okay. Do you know what that is? Mm, not really. It's like a green vegetable. Hmm. As far as Google tell me, it's called endive. Um, but yeah, basically that with mashed potatoes and like pieces of like, uh, little blocks of ham or, or, or something similar mm. and, uh, like smash that together and put like some, um, what's the other, <laughs> I have to translate again as well. It's like a sauce, um, but I don't know what the English word is. It's like a originally Latin sauce. Hmm. I can't find anything about English. Well, it's basically like a dark kind of sauce that you like pour over it and then you often have like 
a nice fat sausage with it. Let's see how... I mean, I can might as well just fucking show a screenshot. Hmm. Or just Google thingy. Like, put the link in the chat of the Google results so you can have lots of images. But I fucking love that shit. Um. But yeah, um, so my mother was gonna make that twice this week. She hasn't told me which days of the week she wants to make that. Mm. So, you know, it depends, like, if she's gonna make it tomorrow or not. If not, then I'll make something else myself, which... What did I buy? I bought, like, a refrigerated pizza, which was pretty big. Mm. It's like, not a frozen one, but, like... Like here they sell either frozen ones in the box, which are very uh, a lot more cheaper, or slightly more expensive and refrigerated ones with a lot more fresh ingredients. Uh, they're big, a bit better. And like those frozen ones, I could eat two of them, and the big ones, the refrigerated ones, I uh, like I'm full just eating one. A lot like higher quality because of that. Um, so I got one of those because it was priced off. Um, yeah, another sh Shack Suka. I found out that that's actually the name, which was like the onions and cooked egg and uh, salami slices and tomato sauce. Kind of thingy. Um, I made that today, so maybe I'll not make that again tomorrow. But I did have enough for like another time. And oh yeah, I, I still had some frozen snacks, so I was just gonna make some fries as well again this week. Uh, this week, yeah. God damn it. My right ear is like getting filled again. Oh no. Yeah, it happened during showering today. Suddenly like got like some water stuck in my right ear and <laughs> not as bad as like my left ear last week. Or this week a couple days ago, but like yeah. Kind of annoying so. Hmm. Damn it. Now it's getting worse. Ah. God damn it. Okay, yeah. Now I can't hear shit. <laughs> oh, no. God fucking damn it. Too stubborn, and I keep fucking trying to fix it. <laughs> I have no clue what we're doing. Uh, we're heading back to the Tesla guy. We gotta go around, and Hans is coming. Oh god. Uh, 
I just bolt for the safe room. I wanna kill Hans. Okay. You're not a pleb, are you? What if I give you super aids? Now you must leave me here. It's too late for me. Save yourself. Ah, hurry, I can't hold on much longer. Oh, his turret is come. Oh, skeleton workers. I could be. Oh, suddenly we got a heart. Hmm. Oh no! Time to go. Which way? Wait, who threw a grenade? I don't know. Uh oh, it's Hans. Oh, another Hans. And now we become zombies. Did you pick that up? I didn't even see we had that. I was in the office. Oh. In one of the rooms. Oh. Looks like it's another piece of the puzzle that we got to slide in something else. Oh, that was it. Or not. Or do we have more? 
Um, it's probably a Walmart mission. Oh shit. You have found Hitler's army factory. Don't go to the bathroom again. If the Hellmouth truly exists, it is here. Use the renewed Saga Mata relic to defeat Hitler and close the Hellmouth. I was gonna say forever. that was probably my last one. If you can. Okay. Also work today, so it's been a long day. Uh, well, I guess we have one level left for next time then. Mm. Well, I gotta go to bed earlier anyway as well, so... Mm. Just in case they contact you. I mean, one of the colleagues will come over regardless. Mm. How did we even get up here? Mm -hmm. Well, like, yeah, so it's like she'll come over regardless, but a very high chance that she'll have like the paperwork ready for me to sign, and maybe even my key. Who knows? Mm. Um, well, yeah, I'll probably have some contact with maybe my coach to like, like if all the things, and I'll basically have to ask them like when the move is gonna be because there's like another colleague of my coach who like has the van to like do that so mm. uh, yeah yeah time went fast holy crap yes went very fast yeah we could have probably finished it if steam hadn't oh yeah done the maintenance thing. yeah if it mm. wasn't steam maintenance we could have probably finished but, uh... yeah yeah was fun Lots of uh, video games. Yeah. Um. I mean. Yeah. Uh. If I'll be live again tomorrow, all depends on like how soon I'm gonna be moving. Mm. So if it's like very short, then I'll probably not stream. If I'm gonna be too busy with packing the rest, but again, everything depends on how soon everything's gonna happen. Like. If it's all gonna all of a sudden gonna be like oh it's gonna be on Monday then you know I'll probably still stream then a couple more days but like yeah it all depends on how close it is but yeah I'll post as many updates as I can on Discord I think so yeah uh, that's about it so thank you everyone let's hope for the good news tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, I really enjoy playing co-op. Lots of can't wait to play a lot of other games together with you, Toaster. Yes, we got it's too be fun. We got a two. We got too many games to choose from. Uh, mm. That's the only problem. Oh well, yeah, because uh, we got Dead Island and uh, Calibur and Division Two and uh, mm -hmm. Bro Force and uh, yeah, lots of stuff. RoboQuest. Yeah. Have a wonderful night, everyone. Thank you, Toaster. Mm, you as well. Have a good night and good luck at the works. Yes. Bye bye. Mm, see ya. Bye, chat. Wish me luck. Wish me luck tomorrow for good news. <laughs>